Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Shamika. I am an engineer by profession and a seeker by passion. It's a new year, a new beginning, a new opportunity for all of us to do something new. Last year, I brought to you the series of This Month I Learned, where I shared with you nuggets of wisdom from across different fields, health and nutrition, finance, uh, life skills. This year, I'm bringing to you a new series, Women of Steel. I wish to bring across to you women from different fields, different backgrounds, different walks of life who I find inspirational. So to start off this series, I have a very special person with me. I met her during one of the events I was hosting and I have been following her on LinkedIn ever since then. It has been almost two years now and I'm so glad that I'm getting this opportunity to talk to her today. She is a first gen entrepreneur. She is a Niti Aayog mentor. She is a mother to a three-time record holder of India Book of Records and a lot more. We are in conversation with Dimple Verma, the co-founder of Wizrobo that offers products, training and organizes competitions in IoT, robotics and AI for little minds. Hello Dimple, welcome to my channel. How are you doing? Hi Shamrika, thank you so much. I'm doing great. Awesome, awesome. I'm so excited to start this conversation with you. So what do you say? Let's start? Yeah, of course. I'm excited too. All right, Dimple. So let's begin our conversation. I'm curious to know, how did you venture into your entrepreneurial journey? What was the seed of thought for Wizrobo? Oh, well, that's a great question, Shamrika. Actually, if I have to be honest, I'll say that, you know, it was a happy accident for me. I never thought of, you know, starting my journey as an entrepreneur, but yeah, how it happened was, you know, actually it all started with my own son. So as you mentioned, he is three times India Book of Record holder. So that was the, you know, thing, his passion, his interest, you know, pushed me to get into this. Actually, when he was just nine years old, we were, you know, looking something good for him. I myself is into software and my husband is into hardware. So, I mean, you know, he is into computers, laptops and all such gadgets. So technology was, you know, always we were always surrounded by technology with my son. And believe me, you know, we were looking something different for my son to pursue and follow for his passion. He was always so fascinated and he used to get, you know, so excited when he used to see things with technology. And we were actually looking for a right STEM educator for him. And at that time, we were not finding anything in our city. So we traveled all over India and even outside India to find a right resource for him. And just while going through the process, basically, you know, I thought that like him, many other children will be interested in these type of skills. And of okay. course, many other parents would be facing the similar challenge with their children. And just to bridge this gap, you know, me and my husband, we sat down and we thought that, yes, why not? We have to bring this to our city. And just to bridge this gap, I must say, Wizrobo was born. So in 2016, I thought that, yes, this is the right time when I have to empower young minds with these future ready skills and thus we just started with a handful of students and thought you know it would be just like another institute where i'll try to empower or at least build their thought processes to learn these technology skills but yes when i started i never thought of that you know i will be at this level but yeah that was really a great start when i started and that was the, you know, initial push with my son, where now I am, I'm proud to say that, you know, Wizrobo is at national, international platforms where we prepare future ready children by introducing STEM education. So we set up these STEM AI robotic labs. We are partnered with Intel and we are Niti IO certified vendor. And we are also, you know, setting up these experiential learning labs across the globe now. Wow, this is incredible, Dimple. I cannot tell you how jealous I feel of the current generation of students that you're helping out. Uh, I wish you were 15 years <laughs> earlier, but nevertheless, this was an incredible journey and 
I'm so glad that you're helping out the students currently because I'm pretty sure uh, that you are building more and more record holders just like your son. So Dimple, I'm sure you must have faced a lot of obstacles in your journey, right? Yeah, absolutely. I think when I chose this path, I was pretty clear that, you know, challenges will be a part of it. Uh, so Dimple, do you mind me asking if any of them were because you were a woman in this uh, tech field, in an entrepreneurial plus tech field? Yes, Shamrika, I, I think I'll admit that, you know, few of the challenges or majorly the challenges were because of a woman. If, you know, I have to mention it, I'll probably say that, you know, whenever you are, either it is your personal life or your professional mm -hmm. life, you face challenges in life, which is pretty common for everyone. And I think there are a lot of internal and external challenges. What I felt is that, you know, maybe you are able to deal with those external challenges, but there are some internal challenges which are really difficult to overcome. And if I have to, you know, mention about those challenges. So the major challenge which I faced was that, you know, being a woman, I had to balance my family, my kids, my work, which was, you know, a bigger challenge than any other challenge I had thought of. Because, you know, being a mother, I was so keen and, you know, passionate to grow my children. Also, on the same hand, I was so passionate for my work. But yes, you know, there are times when you have to stop yourself, when you have to prioritize things. Many a times guilt is there, whether I'm doing this right, whether I'm, you know, giving time to my children or not. So a lot of things were there, you know, which I faced. And yes, I took, you know, a lot of breaks in between, taking it, thinking and considering not only on the growth of my work, but yes, considering it to be a normal process where every woman has to go. And mm. I think I just thought that probably I have to stay strong and also my support system. I believe that for every woman's success, her support system is her family. So I got that support system from my in-laws, from my husband, and that's the reason I feel I am here today. That's so beautiful. I, I really, you know, contribute that, yes, challenges will always be there, but this is how we have to take it, how we prioritize things in life and how passionate we are to, you know, overcome. So I think that is one key factor. And yes, if you get that support system, you definitely get that advantage of, you know, overcoming those challenges. Right. So kudos to you and your family for sticking through all your ups and downs. I'm sure no entrepreneurial journey is um, incomplete. No, we always have some ups and downs just like life. So. I'm sure you are here because of them, as you rightly told. Absolutely. I feel that, you know, a woman is empowered not only by her success, but by her failures also. Ah, very well said. <laughs> Thank you, Dimple. Thank you. So on to the next question. So Dimple, I'm a lot into productivity. I love learning from others. How do they do or how do they achieve all what they achieve? So I want to ask you, how do you manage your time and energy? That's a very great and a tricky question, Shamika. <laughs> <laughs> um, I must say that I'm not a, you know, 100% perfect, I think, for that reason. But yeah, what I tried to do was that, you know, I used to have my daily and weekly schedulers which I try to follow more than at least 80%. And I always thought that, you know, whatever I pen down, whatever, you know, I'm making my planners and schedules well in advance, that helps me to manage my time. And yes, as I mentioned, you know, that being a woman, you know, I have to balance my work and family. So there was a time, you know, when it was getting difficult because, you know, at times my family demands more time, at times my work. So maintaining that balance was really important for me. And with that, you know, schedulers and planners was the great thing, you know, which helped me to manage my productivity. 
so i used to plan my tasks of the day and the very first thing i do it in the morning when i come to my office is i check my daily planner and schedule and then try to follow my routine as per so that's how you know i plan my timings and try to you know put myself into those productive hours and i think what i feel is to me it could be you know possible that the first half of the day is when i feel that you know i can have more productivity so i always used to prioritize my office tasks in that time and probably for the post lunch or evening timings i used to feel that if i have to go or spend time with family and things like that so i used to manage and you know plan my things accordingly okay so you follow a strict routine or is it like every day varies from the other so uh, not exactly a very strict routine but yeah i i think i'll owe this to my parents especially my dad who has taught me to lead a little disciplined life so he was oh, quite yes. disciplined and that's the reason you know i feel i you know followed his footsteps and today i am able to you know um implement that discipline in my life so i'll not say a very strict schedule but 80% of my things are always planned and you know scheduled but yes i have a you know buffer of that 15 to 20% which goes here and there but mostly i think i'm well organized and disciplined in that manner awesome awesome so i also swear by some discipline in life so it's nice to know fellow disciplinarian <laughs> <laughs> This is lovely knowing you. Now, just for breaking some more ice, I have my favorite part of the video that is rapid fire round. So, you know, inspired by Coffee with Karan obviously. So, are you ready for it? Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure. Let me gather my questions. All right. So, question number 1 to you. Describe Wiz Robo in one line. Um, uh, I think we prepare future ready children. Absolutely, absolutely. What is the first thing you do when you wake up? Gratitude. That's the first thing I love to do. Wow, amazing. So, um that's the last thing I do when I sleep. <laughs> Great. Um what's your favorite pastime? Mm, I think I love to be with myself in my shell. Oh, okay. Yeah, an introvert person speaking there. <laughs> <laughs> So are you a reader? Yeah, of course. I What's love What's your favorite books? Oh, lovely. Sorry. What's your favorite book? I think Secret is one of the book book which I have read more than 100 times. Wow. Okay, so I'm assuming uh, that's your favorite author? Yeah, definitely. Rhonda Byron. She is my, you know, favorite author. I've read all her series. Wow, wow. Nice. I I'm inspired to read that now. <laughs> sure. I think that's a that's a great book. Everyone must read it. Okay. Okay. So the next question, the final question. What is the one mantra you swear by and you urge others to do so? I think I must say that believe in yourself. Hmm. No matter what comes to you, what people say, whether people are there with you to support or not. just believe in yourself everything will fall in place amazing amazing thank you thank you so much dimple uh, i am so thrilled and so honored that you gave me your time and you spared your candor with me i thoroughly enjoyed talking to you and learned a lot as well uh, you really are an inspiration for this generation and you have started this series of mine women of steel with a bang so thank you thank you so much thank you shamrika radha it was my pleasure and honor to be here and share my thoughts with you thank you so much and all the best for your series thank you thank you so that's it for today's video i hope you found nimple as inspirational as i do I'm leaving all the details about Wiz Robo in the description box below so do share it with the parents of young children I'm sure they will love it Don't forget to hit the like button if you did and comment below if you want to see more of this series I hope to see you again next week until then happy learning and bye